Well, today I learned. Emmy Nether. Which is probably what the ship was named after. Important for physics and science. Cool! This is, see, we're such an educational stream, everybody. Not just playing video games, we're learning. And also, we've learned that cake is a sandwich today. Alright, let's see what the next random ship is. Random in 3, 2, 1, and random. Haha! <laughs> Speaking of Masala Maneuver, the Slug Sea. One of the strongest ships in the game. But we have not played it this streak. Beautiful. B A beautiful. You have a feeling I'm gonna roll a fed ship. Thank God we didn't. This name you're sure has something to do with bananas. <laughs> okay. Um Put me in crew, flip mode says. Alright. Let me check if I Alright, Sulfur wanted to be the slug pilot. I gotta put Sulfur as a slug pilot. In in we'll get you in, I promise. At some point. Uh flip mode. You think it's a banana slug. Okay. <laughs> Scientific name for the banana slug. Oh, there's a banana slug, huh? That's an actual slug. I don't know if I knew that. Did a lot of signal processing. Ma oh, uh, signal processing back in the university days, but you're no mathematician. You just copy and paste like. Okay. What's the Masala maneuver? Well, we'll be using it, so you'll get to see. Um, banana slugs are North American terrestrial slugs comprising the genus Areoli Max. Learning all the things. Nether's first theorem states that every differential symmetry of the action of a physical system with conversation forces has a corresponding conservation law. <laughs> oh, now I understand. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I didn't take into consideration gravity. Yeah, I was wondering why I didn't do that. Man of war is like a jellyfish, yeah. Okay, all right. Well, uh, first jump empty, not great. Do I want all three nebulas? Three nebulas gets me 11 jumps, right? Yes, I guess I do. Man of War is the most dangerous jellyfish of all. call. What about the giant squids? Those are a thing, right? Have, aren't those real now? We we have actual evidence and remains of those, and they fight sperm whales or something. Or some type of whales. All right, never surrender clue to slavers. All right, Masala Maneuver. For those who are not familiar... We can't do here because they don't have a crew on weapons, but basically, you hack weapons and you mind control weapons. That's the Masala Maneuver. Sadly, there's nobody actually in weapons. Okay. Also, sadly, this guy's weapons are insane. I don't want to move off of piling until after his missile's down. She has two value points because it's got a Scissor two, that's okay. Now we can go fix that. There's probably a lot of crew kill opportunities with this ship too, right? With the whole mind control. Okay, there's a fire in there. All right, so if I'm patient and he kills O2, maybe. Uh, nope. Okay. First ship OP as usual? That's right. That's in the name. Giant squid. Oh, I guess the squid is not a jellyfish. My bad. <laughs> See, I, I'm no biologist. I don't know what things are. Okay, we don't want you to repair that. Isn't that Australian micro jellyfish like the deadliest fish? Penny slugs are still free to be named. Can you be one? Yes, there is one. You, I got you. After this one, this one. Okay, so... Damn it, that's not it. I could just wait for O2, but I'm afraid of his missile coming back online, so... There. Beautiful. I thought the ship was called Areola Max because it's curvaceous shape. Okay. Well, you want to be the pilot. And I already got a slug pilot named Sulphur. I'm sorry. Sorry. 
Alright, NG is best because of blue options. Um, I know it's another YouTuber who took charge. You can be pilot on the next ship, I promise. I promise you can be the pilot on the next ship. Alright, so, uh, other slug wants to be... I should probably capitalize. Sleeping. Dragon. Slugsy is a crew killing machine. Free NG is awesome first jump, absolutely. And we have clone base, so we can do uh, manually search the wreckage. If I go through three nebulas, I get 10. 10, 9, 8, 7. The Lurkandi jelly Jellyfish. So this is a ship we can use Masala Maneuver on. I can desync these weapons too, can't I? Yeah. Tricks at 10. Actually, that's supposed to be updated. It should be 11. I forgot to update it. We just got 11 in a row. Yeah, this is our third best streak so far. Um, okay, let's see how we do this. Let him repair weapons. Can we mind control weapons? This is going to be a very long run because I'm going to go for a lot of crew kills early. Let him repair this once, we'll still be safe. I don't know if killing O2 is worth it. Maybe it actually wasn't worth it. Yeah, there's one damage that we've done to his ship that might keep us from getting the crew kill. I gotta wait for the Mantis repair. Beautiful. I'll kill the NG. And now if I kill the O2, I think that'll be a crew kill. Ooh, I think if he's going there, that means there's a fire in there. I don't know. I'm not sure if this would be a crew kill or not. There's, Is there a strategy along with Masala Maneuver for crew killing on this ship? Or is it just doing what I'm doing here? Manipulating them to fight each other in the weapons room. I don't know if there's a different strategy for crew killing or not. Mind control the O2 repair before he gets his repair off. Okay. I was thinking about that. I felt like it was more important to make them fight each other, though. But maybe that's better. You have to judge when the repairs do. I guess when it's going to be finished. All right, so this is definitely a ship we want to get instant second shield on. I think, since its offense is good enough. I think either way is fine as long as Mantis is preparing O2. All right, this is not Masala Maneuver. This is a scary ship, actually. If he's got a beam plus a combat drone... God, I probably need to hack piloting, shoot piloting so he can't run, right? Okay, he's a beam master. That's good. Beam master is good. Okay, do we hack shields or do we hack piloting on this fight? Because if he's got level 2 piloting... Hacking piloting is a waste, or it only it won't get it down with the first shot. I'm actually wondering if shield hack is better here, so we have the potential to get two engines down, two piloting down, with chain laser. So what do we what do we like? Hack shields, hack piloting. Just shoot piloting, and try to save drone part. No, I'm not saving drone parts. Not on a guy that's running away. There's a low amount of scrap reward anyway. Um, you probably go for evasion. 
You'd probably still pilot hack. Okay. Let's go for it. Let's see what happens. Please not level two. Okay. Beautiful. I don't know what the chances are for sector one auto scouts running away to have level two piloting. I don't know what the chances are for that. Pilot delay jump guarantees hit. Yes, but if he has level two piloting, then he could 50% dodge every shot after our first one and we never stop him from running. That's that's my argument for hacking shields. Because if we hack shields and he doesn't dodge, two chain lasers will get level two piloting down to zero. Time for chain laser of Julian verse to show its quality. Yes. So we'll hit it's here. Auto scouts, what crappy rewards. Um, so we have eight, seven, six, five, two. So I can see all these jumps. If I can. <sighs> that is a flak and a basic laser. All right, well, we can hack those weapons. We can. Solemn maneuver this. Man, Flack is so OP. Same charge time as a basic laser. So OP. Show OP. Nice snow dodges. Heal ban a rock dude in an NG. I, I doubt I ever. hitting first shot. Yeah, the first double hit was better than most of our other volleys there. Minor difference, but to make sure the mic control does damage, you mic control before throwing the hack out. Oh, really? I was actually purposely waiting because I thought they came in and fought the guy, but I guess they don't. So you immediately mind control? You instantly mind control to make sure the mind control does damage or the hack. Is that is that because they'll run out of the weapons room if you hit it with your first shot? Is that why? What's the reasoning behind that? Yeah, they only come in if the system is damaged, that's right. Ah, store, but I could get second shield, but I have slug repair gel to sell. Sell for like Sell for 40, is it enough to get a flak? Let's see. Seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one. Two, three, four, five, six. I could be really greedy and just get a bunch of jumps for the store. You know, I'm gonna get shields and I'm gonna get a bunch of jumps for the store. That's I'm gonna do both. Yes. Uh the damage is guaranteed before anything fires. Oh, frickin' full star. Okay. Huh. After we have this discussion, and they immediately fight each other. I guess it's because they have teleporter. Nice. Nice. Oh, it's not nice. The heavy laser's still online. Okay, good. It burned. Okay, this... An easy crew kill. Um... Just gotta vent him. And he goes over there and we'll kill him over there. Okay. Let's get there. Uh, 
and then he goes into... <laughs> he doesn't know where to go. Beautiful. Oh, that's a low scrap reward, but hey, another free NG. That's a silly device. A lot of time you won't even fire the first chain leader shot to conserve their hole for crew kills, depending on what happens with their weapons. Okay, right. I can't name him in a pulsar, though. You're safe with one damage or the bad weapon goes down, you won't shoot, but if you need to get safe, you shoot. Okay, that makes sense. These are pretty strong weapons that we're fighting, sadly. Um, missile never goes down here, right? Because it's weapon in first slot. Or told us. Okay, good dodge. That means I don't even think this next shot gets the missile off. Let's go. Any plans for tomorrow? Yes, stream, and I don't know what game yet, actually. <laughs> um, I have about four or five games I'm thinking about. Uh, Shogi gifted that one sniper game. Um, a couple platformers that I'm not a huge fan of platformers. <laughs> There's uh, Ori in the Blind Forest, Hollow Knight. Um, there's a game, there's an RPG game that I downloaded that looks fun. Holy NG's Batman. Oh my gosh. Okay. I have more crew than I have systems to man that crew on. All right. Who is the door person? Sophia, you are not a Sophia. You are a silly device. What happens usually is they can't repair before the second hack and MC and my control cycle to be ready to shoot when all their crew is in there. You have an engine in the cockpit, maybe they're wrong. Yeah, I know, I know, I know I did. I wasn't fixing it because I was focusing on the enemy crew and it didn't. I have subscribed to Pro Chain Laser Strats. Oh god, Julian versus back with, with that. Well, then I probably shouldn't tell you that I bought a chain laser last run, so. Whoops, I think I gave it away. Um. All right, you cannot damage us, so this is dodge training time. Correct, correct, correct. All right, so let's speed hack it. Very good. Chain laser, best laser. If you don't have dual chain lasers, is your ship even viable? <laughs> chain laser is great because it sells for so much. You want an NGP run last night with a chain laser and two heavy laser ones. Oh, that's a minimalist weapon build. Chain laser was the key to the whole run. <laughs> Something Crown of the Magister. That was that game. Something with a C. Okay, we're already done. Do I even do I wait for shield training? Well, we already got level one shield training. I honestly don't know that the NG is going to stay on shields that long, so... I guess I could cross-train engines. Nah, I don't really care about that. I'm not big on cross-training. Alright, so how do we crew kill this? How do we crew kill this? Probably mind control the pilot? It's a lost, uh, that's the one, Ramses, yes. I bought that one because uh, my RPG friends told me about it. I created my character from our D&D &D RPG game, my bard. And I thought, maybe I'll stream that game. So if we might control the pilot, shoot the piloting. Is that our best way to crew kill? Running a fire helps. Use the speed hack, makes the chain laser feel like it's actually good. <laughs> and charges fast, yeah. Uh, why don't you move? I guess this guy's low enough on health. If I do this, does that finish him off? This one's just an MC pilot every time and then kill off the survivor at the end. Well, sadly, 
That fire was actually too good. Damn, I think I need to hit another room to pull them. Yeah, the fire complicates it. Um, if the fire spreads to another room... Problem is, if I mind control in a room that's not damaged, they won't fight. This starts a fire. Okay, it looks like it didn't, so this should work. Now, okay, I have to do this before any more damage happens. There we go. Okay, we got there. What's up, Chris Witch? You're back in college and having ice cream for lunch. How'd my day go? So far, pretty good. We ran him to good ship second and got a decent win on our first run, so not bad. So also looks like a game with a lot of reading. Am I sure I want to play this? It's a good question. It's a good question. Because we all know how I can't read. No, just kidding. <laughs> because I don't like reading on stream too much. Uh, we'll have to see. That might be one I would want to play offline because of that. Uh, let's see what you get in store. First laser one. I could sell slug repair gel for that. Or a whole laser. This is cheaper, faster, and has a fire chance. So, yes. Getting a weapon and our second shield sector one, I think, is about ideal for this starter. So, I was playing Escape Simulator last week. Uh, like, Yeah, me and Shogi have played it a bunch. Shogi gifted it to me and Pie Boy and maybe somebody else a while back. And we'll just sometimes play as a fun off-stream thing to do. It's it's a lot of fun. We enjoy it. I've never actually been to a real-life escape simulator, so... Um, it is fun. Is there a right time to ask if ice cream is ever a type of sandwich? <laughs> well, there's literally something called an ice cream sandwich, so 100% it is. I love ice cream sandwiches. They're delicious. Basically like an Oreo cookie, but instead of cream in the middle, it's vanilla ice cream. You picked uh, Escape Simulator later up a few days before I started playing it, and you were loving it. Great, infinite fun with the workshop. Well, we haven't done any workshop stuff. We just we will randomly play one scenario, and it takes us an hour or two, and it's just a fun thing to do. Um, so I probably have 10 or 12 hours, not much in it. But yeah, super fun game. Double reward. Okay, do we want to get the weapon online before, like, level 2 hacking? I think we at least want weapon value. And do we ever want to use burst laser over chain laser because it's faster on the first follow? I don't know, I kind of just want to get the burst laser online. Let's scrap this power. Second shield is so OP, shields need a nerf. <laughs> yeah, totally. Alright, this guy can't damage us. Man, this ship is so strong. I, I Although I guess we've been fighting, we fought all our tough ships at the beginning of the sector. Because, you know, you want to get your tough ships out of the way at the beginning of the sector when you have no upgrades. All the missile and burst laser 2 ships were our first couple of jumps. Now we're fighting the ships that are way weaker. Might as well use burst laser one instead of chain laser because it's faster for Swally. Do you think so? Because if we're using Masala Maneuver, I feel like faster first volley doesn't matter as much if we're Masala Maneuvering, right? Of course, we aren't Masala maneuvering, maneuvering here, but like on the fights where we would Masala Maneuver, I actually think Chain Laser might be better. Delayed first volley, as uh, Far was saying, might not even matter. Oh, thanks, a map as we're leaving the sector. Appreciate that. Thank you for visiting our sector. Here's a map as you leave. Okay. Why? This is useless. That's like going to the store. It's like when I get breakfast in the morning at the drive-thru and they give you a receipt. As Mitch Hedberg says, whenever I buy a donut and they give me a receipt, I don't need a receipt. Just give me the donut and I'll go on my way. This is like saying, here, you throw this away. So them giving me a map is them saying, here, you throw this map away. Thank you. Thank you. Wait, I think I mixed up two of Mitch Hedberg's jokes there. Uh, he's talking about people giving away flyers, I think. 
All right, we're going to do this patiently. He's not running. If I don't shoot, this will actually be better for mind controlling the pilot. Make sure he doesn't run away or start a fire that complicates things. Uh, FTL wants to separate the boys from the men right out the gate. Handing me tough ships early. Probably what it was. Probably what it was. I actually don't want to dodge the heavy laser for that shield strike. But I do want to dodge that. Aha! Uh -huh, Min-maxing our training. I just need to finish that. Oh, no double reward, sad. End of transaction. We don't need to bring ink of paper into this. That's right. But faff, that's right. Uh, Rudy Van Winkler followed. When did you stop following? Um, they love giving out souvenir sector maps. What a what a worthless souvenir. I mean, thanks for the souvenir. Come back again. Okay, so we don't have long-range scanners. So that makes this choice a little more interesting, I feel like. I have 22 fuel. So a lot of fuel, no long-range scanners. I did this last run where we went to Uncharted se Sector 2 and had a completely empty Sector 2. Um, how badly do we want stores? I actually have enough to get my first laser online. <sighs> I think I'm going to go NG this time. If we found a store with a heavy laser or something, our, our weapons would be set for like the next five sectors or something crazy. Man, rest in peace, Midge Hedberg. He's the king of one-liners, man. Lord of the Asteroid Field. Free stuff. Right. All right, I'm delaying upgrading my weapon. I should just get it, I think. I should just. Okay, does this guy only have a mini beam? Okay. All right, so two border, two, two crew. Will he board a second time with two crew? I think he will. I did not mean to move my slug. They will, he will, okay, good. Do not kill him, perfect. Wait for the NG to board, kill the NG. Then kill the clone bay, and then kill his last crew, I think is the order to do this. Getting practice on this strat. Um, okay, I need people who actually do two damage, though. So... They'll always board twice unless they don't have enough crew when their TP comes off cooldown. Perfect. And now we finish him off and don't let him repair. Clean. Nice. Okay. Holy free breach farm mark two. If only we were a boarding ship. But wow, that's wow, that's really, really good. Um Wow, that's the second free breach bomb mark two we've gotten this week, isn't it? Because we got one on our Manta Sea run on Thursday. I'm almost worried about going to a store now, because then I might see something that makes me want to sell it. <laughs> it's the birch berm. I love the birch berm. If I go to a store with 25 scrap. Because I could sell breach 2 for long range scanners. Got to check what's there, if nothing else, right? Right. So we purposefully want to not buy sensors until we've gotten backup battery and cloaking. I so I don't think any of this is good enough to make me sell the breach bomb, right? Plus for 30. Wow, I could buy the whole laser one, actually. Yeah, heavy ion, boss ready. Hmm. 
Yeah, I don't think I do anything. I kind of just want to get out. Skip the stores. I can do this. I'm going to do that. Let's get this other store. Hail them. Um, that's worth 16 scrap. That's worth 15. Uh, I don't think that feels very good. A gain of maybe one scrap, then I'd rather keep my fuel. You like keeping the breach here as a just in case? Yeah, it can also help us with crew kills. So, except they're off for free stuff. Potential crew kill you know, saving because uh, our lasers do too much damage or something. Okay. Well. Um. Yeah, my first volley won't beat his first volley, so. Oops. This is going to make the crew kill a little more awkward, I think. Double fires might still be okay. All right, let's go find the fire in this room. Okay, sounds good. I probably could have finished him off right there if I fired earlier. Okay, that should be dead. Ng. And dead Zoltan. Beautiful. This ship really is a crew killing machine. It's crazy. Is there ever a practical reason to explain you're friendly in that event? Uh, I think you always lose. Well, you lose the opportunity to gain stuff. No, I don't think so. You can get high rewards from being friendly. Really? So, well, I don't know. What is it, like one in three? One in two? So it's either guaranteed mid rewards or potential high rewards or something. So I guess it's gambling. Grab some of the debris. I don't see a store. Five, four, three, two. Roll the dice, being friendly. You guarantee at least something for just taking and running. Yeah. Here to cash. 69 scrap. Best amount of scrap. Been a pretty good sector of free stuff here. Those are two, got to do this again. I'm going to not mind control this time. I'm not going to have a Solomon in there. Save. God, those are perfectly timed, actually. Okay. You always say you're friendly and often get high rewards. It sucks when they don't give any gratitude. <laughs> it sucks when they don't give gratitude. It's the worst. <laughs> Man, they didn't even give me any gratitude. Go. Uh, FTL Wiki says that accepting is guaranteed random rewards. Splitting your friendly is 50-50. Yeah. I, I like guaranteed stuff. That's what I like. Uh, what's up, Rudy Van Winkler? Good to see you. You've been lurking for weeks, longing to say hi and remind you of how wonderful level two sensors are. <laughs> well, I appreciate that reminder, Rudy Van Winkler. Hope you and Stefan and Franek are doing well. Glad to see you, my friend. Starting with hack is kind of stupid. Yeah, hacking is stupid strong. Why it's the best system in the game. Apart from like shields or weapons, of course. And it's why the ships that start with hacking are some of the best starting ships. It's just, it's just insane. You're gonna head out far, but you might be back later. All right, have a great night, my friend. Holy free hole beam! Holy crap, a weapon is floating in space. Holy crap, the game has given up and is giving us free weapons. Um, 
I just want to save for cloaking, because if we get cloaking, our run is one, basically. The parting gift, that's right. Thank you for the parting gift. And <laughs> I'll carefully cut the ship out. The jump after giving us a free hull beam. Sure, I'll take some more free stuff. I love free stuff. Thanks, FTL. You shouldn't have. Later, Farb. Hacking might be better than shields. You've won shield the stealth A before, right? Uh, I'm sure I have. Uh, they offered to upgrade your sensors. <laughs> okay. Now they're just trolling me. Here's a free sensor upgrade that you don't have, lol. Alright, let's go rebel so we have a choice and not have force Zoltan next sector. Remember kids, NGs don't have feelings like the rest of us, so make sure to murder those soulless freaks with your chain laser. <laughs> That's right. Alright, well, I said I was going to save up for, ha uh, for cloaking, but... Do I want to get level 2 hack? You know what? I'm gonna greed. I'm gonna greed. Uh, it's pretty greedy. Let's get level 2 hack. Let's go on this one. I might even want to get a weapon up. Sector 3, 4, sh uh, 2 shields. I'm out of the game, didn't I? Yes, I left my cheating software on. Forgot to tell you all. Punished for not my controlling this pilot. Okay, he's dodged 50% of every volley. Would you go ahead and F yourself now, game? Okay. Well, I have no O2 now, that sucks. Uh, we gotta fix that. Broken O2, my vented O2 system has been broken. Okay, he has enough health, we should be able to crew kill this. If I do this, this should pull the weapons repairing guy, correct? Yes. <laughs> Oh, this guy's got at least level 2 piloting. He's dodging half of my shots with nobody on piloting. My favorite. Just my favorite. Good. Get wrecked. Alright, we took a couple missile shots there because of my greed, I think. Did you know that civil NGs don't run? Thanks, Inan. Never heard that before. FTL's just being nice and then she'll backstab. You know it would get in the way of the streak attempt, but you do miss a good meme run every now and again. Well, then watch our viewer viewer created ship days. <laughs> because that's when the memes, that's when we get the memes in. And hey, we've been doing more boarding strats, which you could probably argue are more meme -y. Oh god, this sector layout I just realized sucks. I need to be here in five. I think that's the best we could do. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So, okay, so five. This run can be our fire meme run. Okay, sure. A lot of guys are boarding on this run. Double fire and weapons? That's nice. Oh, we want to not kill you. Good. This. Kill that guy. These guys will fight it out. This is really greedy. I'm crew killing in a pulsar, but with a quadruple fire and weapons, I don't I don't think it's that greedy with a quadruple weapon fire. It's fairly safe. Damn. Unless they dodge my shots. Do it. 
All right. Pretty small bomb. I don't think you've seen me use them unless I'm really far ahead, so you have a guess. But are higher levels of mind control ever worth? Uh, I like level 2 for value point. But usually upgrading mind control... I don't find it that worth. We've had a we've had a run or two, I think, where we have really bad luck on weapons, and that was like our offensive upgrade. But yeah, in general, I would say not that useful. You have faith that the full cycle is only a matter of time. Your mom was a quadruple weapon fire last night, Trebek. Thanks, Julian Burst. Thanks. We'll go ahead and be solemn and over this. Oh, I almost pressed I pressed the wrong button. Fire that in here. Alright, there is a heal bay. Is he going to the heal bay? Where are you going, sir? Fire, okay. Nice, fire is spread. We are getting a lot of fires. Yeah, all right, he's got a, his own drogue controls helping us kill him. How nice of him. Yeah, go in there and kill yourself. I like that. Think off the swap here. Mm, not sure. Got him. <laughs> this is crazy. So many stinking crew kills. Was there a new apartment tour? I haven't done that yet. I actually keep meaning to do that. Maybe tomorrow, since I don't know when I'm going to stream. Maybe I can finally do that. What's, I, the reason I've been de delaying it for a while was because I hadn't unpacked everything. Now I'm pretty much unpacked. I have some boxes lying around, but I don't mind showing around. But it's more... I don't have a movable microphone, so I'm going to have to tell... Look at this while I point my camera at things and walk around without being able to talk. So I, I probably will do that soon, actually. We have enough for cloaking. I'm being really greedy right now. It's really greedy. I might die for this greed, but I'm greedy for cloaking. Stream from my phone. I have never done that in my life, so I don't know how I would do that. Okay. A for energy repair, at least. Good. Alright, not the best fight ever. And again, it's because I'm being too greedy. I'm trying to save for cloaking. Which, I feel like I've done that in the recent past. Greeted for cloaking and paid the price for it. Probably stop doing this, but we're just so close to it, man. We're so close to it. We have enough for it, is actually the real thing. Kind of a shame you have to turn to mods for laser with a higher than low fire chance. I mean, fire is really OP, so it's understandable. Okay, yes, I would. I think a drone part for an extra guaranteed jump is absolutely worth. Especially if this lets us see. Okay, there's our store. All right. My plan was to go directly into here. I get one extra ship fight to do this now. Let me get power. One extra jump. So like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine is I think the plan. So I'm delaying going to the store a bit longer. Okay. I think we 
probably going one, two, three, four. Can I do that? I don't think I can go one, two, three, four. No, I don't think so. And maybe I can try a maybe I can try a phone streaming thing. There's probably an app you have to download for that. Oh crap. Okay. Um. All right, what am I hacking here? Hacking engines, I think. Oh man, I hate these drones here. Did not pull the pilot and my O2 dead. Okay, that pulls the pilot. Okay, we might crew kill this guy. Okay. That guy's dead. There's a fire. He should stay in there until he gets too low and then runs out. Got him. Nice. Very, very nice. Okay, 115 scrap. Trying to save back up to 150, so we have eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, good. This route still works. Wait, no, I have nine now, don't I? I don't need three nebula jumps. I only need two. Three does not get us an extra jump, so... Nine, eight, seven, six... Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. I'm I'm being so greedy right now. This is so greedy. Stop me, chat. I can't stop my greed. Stop enough. Okay, shield the ship is very nice. My greed is never ending. Good. These triple NG repair party is also helping with their greed. All right. Okay. How are things going with you, Britnoff? One, two, three, four. Is that what I was planning? No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, three borders. I have the mind control uh, thing. Do I want to hack you? I'm going to hack your weapons here. Okay, some time. Good. Both allowed in here to get vented. Welcome to your venting. Three borders. Uh, okay, so now we don't do too much more damage because we are going to try to crew kill this. There we go. One down. All right. We have crew killed so many ships this run. Man, this ship is so good at being a war crime uh, simulator. All right. Zoltan Shield guy. Beautiful. Heavy, huh? He yeah, heavy laser or 30% fire chance? Yeah. Uh, man, I have so many crew, I don't know where to put all my crew. Let's put you in actual... Let's put you in clone band, you in O2. It's okay to be greedy. I have chain laser. There you go. <laughs> That's right. That's my power. 12. I just counted earlier. I was counting this one to this one. That's still up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 
Uh, if I spend scrap on an extra power for the half power jump, do I think I get 50 scrap? I have two things to s I have things to sell, yes. yes. Half power jump. I'm hoping there's just manly search for wreckage anyway. What's up, Muhammad? How are you doing? It's not manly search. Oh, that's uh, uh, terrifying. Um, okay, uh, I should, probably should have done this, but I'm just going to do it now. Oh my god! How did you repair that so fast, dude? The hell was that repair speed? Oh my god. Good dodge there. Okay. How the hell did he repair that? In the time it took my weapons to charge one another time. Jeez. AI repair speed, I guess. So much power he has online. Friggin' half power nebula jumps suck when you're fighting anybody with high power stuff because they just have 8,000 extra power hanging around. You don't think it was repair as power management? Really? You think he has five drone power? Because he would have had to have a value point in drone power for that to be true. I, I think you're memeing, I think. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Uh, I have six. I feel like I've miscounted my jumps like three different times this run, but I don't think I could have done this any... I don't know. It's fine. It's fine. I probably had a better route. You are memeing. Okay, good. Just making sure. Okay, combat drone. Double heavy laser. Two, uh, heavy. Good dodges. I'm being pretty greedy with my drone parts, too. I don't know why I'm feeling the need to be so greedy. Feel the need, the need for greed, man. Okay, we got fires. This should be a crew kill. Uh, that was too much damage. Okay, probably not a crew kill now with that shot. Oh well. I'm not, not taking more heavy laser damage for my greed. Not good enough. 11 scrap is not a deal. 25 is a deal. Alright, one more greedy jump before we do all our repairs and upgrades. We're hoping for cloaking. Hope for cloak. And I'm not sure what weapons I'm keeping out of what I have. Probably... I don't know, actually. Okay. Oh, shield hack. No. Freaking burst laser too. Better than chain laser. It's faster and more shots. That's right, Julian Verse. I said it. I said it. Better than chain laser. Who could even conceive of such a thing? I'm a slug ship, so Max Greed is. <laughs> Max Greed is as intended, right? That's right. We're playing this ship as intended with Max Greed mode. You see his Elton on shields? You do, RPG. You do. And you be. You do and you be. First laser too overrated. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, I'll accept that. As long as you don't say flak one, I'm fine with that statement. I'm fine with that statement. Alright, what you got, store? Wrong kind of flak. Right kind of long range scanners, though. So we always sell this. We always buy this. Okay, this is a little weird. But from our discussions lately about number of systems we learned from Mike Hopley, buy backup battery, yes. 
Don't buy sensors, because buying sensors puts us at 11 systems, which means there's a slightly lower chance of finding systems in stores. So since our main goal is to find cloaking, we buy back a battery, we do not buy sensors. Now, I would like a weapon system I don't need to use hacking every time for, so... I think the Rebels are having trouble taking over the galaxy because their ship AIs wait 22 seconds to use its ion bomb on an empty room. <laughs> Maybe so. Teeny tiny teensy teaser for your mod. You plan to add faction-specific stuff for the future. Nice. Nice. That sounds cool. I'm trying to decide what I do here. You get the whole beam on with chain laser and burst laser. It's pretty expensive. But I feel like I wouldn't be as reliant on hacking... A couple months ago, you beat the game on hard for the first time with the Kestrel A. Any pearls of wisdom as you tackle NGA? Uh, pearls of wisdom on NGA. Try to find weapons you can aim and don't rely on drone offense. Hacking is the best system in the game. Black ones are amazing. Couple pearls. Aim at weapons, yeah. Hmm. I want to keep the breach bomb. Because I might end up, if I don't find any other good weapons, which we probably will, but if I don't, I'd like Chain, Burst, Breach 2, Hull as my final weapon system. It's pretty expensive. Small Bomb is good right now, though. Maybe I don't do anything else here. I'm continuing to greed so hard for cloaking. Let me wait till we see the beginning of Sector, of the, of sector 4. There's an early store, we'll check for cloaking. If there's not an early store, we'll do some upgrades. I just don't think I want to do any upgrades. We had a rough NGA run a little while ago. What did we conclude? Obsessively man doors and it's okay to prevent some rooms. Yeah, that was a pretty niche situation. So I don't know that I would say you always need to do that. If you're playing no pause, yes. If, you, if I could have paused, I probably could have survived that. Maybe. Events. You would switch for Breach 2 right now. Hans, the problem with that is I need to get one more weapon power if I want to do that plus my lasers. So I'm trying to not spend 75 scrap on weapons right now. And if I do spend 75 scrap on weapons, I'm going Chain Laser, Burst Laser, Hole Beam. Not the other bomb. Oh, offensive drones everywhere. I'm going all in on his... Defense first. It's probably the wrong. Okay, good. Good fight. Aim ion blast at weapons. Get shields for ASAP. If you have a safe f fight, crew kill them by auto firing ion blast at oxygen. I don't know about the oxygen one, but I agree with everything else. But I'm also less patient than a lot of other FTL players, so. Two kills are good. We would switch for Breach 2. Um, the, that NGA loss was definitely one where being on no pause hurt. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I could have dealt with the, the three borders so much better if I was not playing on no pause. But, you know, that's part of the challenge. So, I'm not, I'm not bitter about playing on no pause. I'm bitter about that event being the first jump. The three human borders plus... Missile fire to shield and a combat drone first jump. How do you counterplay that? Uh, some free stuff and not a store. Well, at least doesn't have a cloaking I'm missing out on. We're finding systems, just not the right ones. Actually, if there was cloaking, I could just get it because I could sell something. All right, civilian, nice. Reignited flak is DA. Uh, oh, da bomb is what you were saying. I missed that. Pretty bad one. Can't talk. Oh god, the greed, the greed, the greed. Okay, if I'm not getting cloaking, what am I doing? Am I getting second shield? Am I getting weapon upgrade? Getting dodge? Kind of leaning towards third shield. I can like hack weapons and stuff. Uh, man, this is the one of the worst parts of the run for me. Beginning of Sector 4, 
We've been saving scrap for a system. We haven't found that system. And if I continue to greed, I probably die. But if I don't greed, I probably find what I'm looking for. Everybody's too expensive. I don't know, man. Sector 4 is where you start getting ships with some crazy lasers and flax and stuff, I think. I think Sector 4 is where I lost my last Slug C run. I think it was Slug C where I was greeting for cloaking. I think it might have been that. Get engines before third shield. I could technically, technically get both and just not get the power for it, but... I mean, if we hack weapons, we might be safe. Pearl lost a streak over the weekend against one of the most ridiculous Sector 4 death ships you've ever seen. Yeah, there, there are Sector 4 ships that are terrifying. There's not a store in sight. There's a ship fight and a half-power nebula jump that could be manually searched the wreckage. Thinking about going more. I'm going to split the difference. I'm going to upgrade my defense by upgrading my engines. I maybe shouldn't have got the power because I have backup batteries. I'm going to do that. And hope we don't see a crazy Sector 4 death ship. There's a crazy strong Zeltan Shield, Double Burst Laser 2, Ion Stunner, Combat Drone. Four Stealth Sea to Pieces, yikes. Alright, Shieldless Ship with Missiles, not too bad. Uh, holy Triple Wep- Okay, I was not even going to hack to see what my first volley did. Triple Missiles. Okay. I, of course, I say triple missiles, and I mean triple missile using weapons, but... Okay. Okay, this guy has zero dodge. He invested all his stuff in bombs and missiles. This should be uh, an auto-bomber. Oh my gosh. Last cannon auto-ship. Ooh, is this double reward? Nice. Very nice. Okay, there's our store. Alright, I should be able to afford cloaking with stuff to sell. Let's go. RNG Jesus, please cloaking. Nice. Alright. Alright, what are we selling for cloaking? Um, I think it has to be one of our two power weapons, right? No, it could sell small bomb for cloaking. But that is uh, weakening my offense for a couple of fights until I can get 75 scrap and weapons. Oh my god, an anti-bio beam. What are we selling for anti-bio beam? <laughs> Nothing. How, how attached am I to this breach too? If I sell Breach 2 for cloaking, I keep my offense. I think I sell the Breach 2 here. I like Breach 2 a lot. But... Selling it for cloaking feels worse. Yeah, my plan is to use Hull Beam anyway. Alright. If even Sleeping Dragon says sell Breach 2, I think we can agree that's the play. Uh, small bomb weakens immediate offense. Whole beam weakens long term. Slugsy gets crew kills pretty well already. Yeah, I agree. One, two, three, four. Uh, do I skip asteroid field to go for this, Jim? I think I skip asteroid field just because I want to get it in this nebula. Did I change the pilot since the start of the run? No, it's been slug pilot the whole time. And I'm not going to be changing it because Slug Pilot OP. Sorry, Inan. This isn't a boarding build. Also a good, a valid point. Take that deal. Another store with nine scrap. I think we got to skip that one. Maybe we should have bought... I don't know about it. Well, I hope we don't have a bunch of empty jumps going through all these nebulas. Okay, we got ship fights there. All right, so half power. We are at 14 for them. Not an even number. I mean, an odd number. Let's 
one more actually have, so we gotta do that. Okay, this is fine. Kill your friends. Uh, damn it. Didn't do what I wanted you to do, humans. Okay, that kind of works. Lots of low dudes. Who do I vent? What's your what's your uh, shield training so far? RPG RPG twenty two. I don't think that's worth keeping you at no health. And Trico's got a little bit of repair training. I don't want to I don't want to vent my pilot or engines because that's an immediate loss in dodge training. Okay. All right, 35 scrap. What's our next buy? Maybe clone bay value, maybe weapons, maybe shields, maybe level... F Actually, I think level 4 engines for max dodge is probably the buy, and I think I'm going to do that right now. Mm, I've seen two stores this sector already. Let's get our max dodge so that we're protected from missiles. Running. That is level three piloting. Oh my god, he blocked a fucking shot, you shitty game. Please hit, please hit. Good. Missile down, please. Damn it! Damn it! Frickin' missiles, man! There a timer on our health. More importantly, a timer on my sanity. Alright. Alright, missile down at least. Heroic point defense. Yeah, that was what that... <laughs> uh, it kind of was what that was. A beam drone blocking a laser, huh? Point defense drone. Uh, FTL starting weapon naming conventions are a little strange, come to think of it. There are descriptive variants like Heavy Pierce, there's a vague Laser Charger Plus, Dual Lasers is named its own thing, and then Breach Bomb 1 is part of the Breach family even though it's unique. Okay. Alright. Um, okay, I'm going to, am I going to hack? I think we just hacked this guy. So let's Masala move this guy. Trust in the Masala maneuver. Trust in Masala. So down, I'm going to that. This is a potential free kill. Uh, and his missiles are back up, because of course they are. Not beautiful. Alright. Now that we got Mantis repairing weapons, if I'm patient and mind control correctly, we should be able to free kill this. Especially with the small bomb. Just don't want to use too many missiles is the thing. Beautiful. One more shot will do it. Beautiful. There are two breach bombs available. That's why there's a one and a two. Yeah. Did that NG free flee the damage room to allow a mantis to repair? Yes. They're very smart, these AI crew members. They're very smart. Some forehead strats right there. So four jumps does give me eight, but if they're all empty, how useful are these? 
I need to go around this way, actually. So, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't think I see a way of getting all eight jumps. No. Three, four, five, and that doesn't connect over that way. Yeah, I don't see a way to do it. So I think we just take two nebulae jumps to get seven. So that would be one, two... One, potentially two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, okay. Um, empty jump is empty. Okay. Right. This nebula has a fight, so we get six. We go here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, that gives us a chance another store over here. Dive. We got a solar flare there. Hmm. Alright, uh, third shield I think is our next buy. Or weapons. Uh, weapons or third shield. Couple beam drones. If I get third shield or weapon upgrade, which do I think will allow me to have to hack less to conserve drone parts? Hacking piloting more often than I'm hacking weapons. Maybe the weapon upgrade? Um, ten, ten bombs still. I think I'm leaning towards the shield upgrade next. That's more expensive. It is more expensive. So I could do, I could actually do the weapon upgrade right now. I'm gonna do that. Now maybe I can hack weapons as needed and don't need to hack shields to get through or hack engine often, maybe. This. I missed my Zolt Shield from last run, my friends. I missed it. Miss it. All right, shieldless auto scout, my favorite. You're my favorite, sir. What's your weapons look like? Not even good. Not even good weapons. Do 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 do. <laughs> you didn't even get the fire's chain laser, but chain laser's so good, right, everybody? Oh, great! Fifteen scrap and a map at the end of the sector. Great. Thanks for that useless map. Just finished cleaning the lunchroom. How's the run going? We're playing one of the strongest ships in the game. I'll let you be the judge. You be the judge. How is the run going? We're alive. Only that can... It's a little play. Probably hack, plan on hacking weapons. Oh, three shields, Zoltan shield. There's the punish for me... For me not getting the three shields, okay. Jesus, this is a crazy ship. Let's open the ion would fire at the same time as the missile. Oh, that's a great dodge. Okay, there's a fire in an empty room somewhere, because I'm not seeing it in any of my manned rooms. Look at that. Or I'm blind and it was in my mind control the entire time. That's not a great deal, and you're dead anyway. I, You know what? I blame Better Planets and Backgrounds. The big solar flare made it so that the red fire thing here. I just didn't see it against the glare of the sun. Hashtag blame better plans and backgrounds for me not seeing that. I blame Mike Copley. That's what I'm saying. 
Breach Bomb 2 is a significantly different weapon than Breach 1. Charge Laser 1 is barely different than Charge Laser. I, how are they significantly different? They do the same thing, one just does two more system damage. Holy free Pike Beam! I don't find them to be that signi significantly different. Alright, so I got the shield value. Both. What if there's an early store next sector that I can sell Pike Beam? Eh, greedy. It's realistic. Of course it's harder to see when you're standing in front or flying in front of a giant star. True, true. Alright, um... This is not a great dive. Ow. Uh, even though he has a missile in mind control, I am gonna be here. There's a potential double reward. Um, that's your secondary offer, which is better than your first offer. Two drone parts, three fuel. It's running. I need at least one more volley. Oh, reject. Hope he doesn't get out. I'm gonna let that mind control happen because that pulls a pilot. Alright, do I get double reward for this? Holy free hull repair! That was absolutely worth. Nice. It's an excuse. A very creative one, but still excuse. True. It was an excuse for me not seeing that fire. It's true. What was my longest streak and which ship marked its end? Yeah. 18 in a row on Zoltan C. Chat's got me covered. Thanks, chat. Okay, here's a store. Unexpected store. Do I ever use Pike Beam over Small Bomb on the boss fight? Pike Beam's a worse hole beam. There is a world where you use Chain Laser, Burst Laser, Hole Beam, Pike Beam, all the mediocre weapons except Hole Beam's good. I don't... I don't think it's good enough to keep when I could use that scrap and get my third shield, so... Abandoned five? No thank you. Hole Pike and Halberd is a good combo. I guess because you can one-shot with that. Good combo with lots of micro. I'm gonna get my third shield. I was just gonna see if there's an early store before I spent my scrap there. Small bomb helps with crew killing a little more than Pike. That's that's kind of what I'm thinking about too, is the crew killing help. Let's see if I can not use a drone part here. A bit of greed mode here. The dodges. Also good dodges. If I'm just patient. Good. Now we should be safe. Beams offline. Very nice. Beautiful. Didn't even need the cloak. Uh, let's see. The laser's family is not burst laser one and two. It's basic laser. Oh, that's interesting. Claiming that... Uh, Dual laser one is a basic laser, huh? <laughs> I guess that's... I guess you could look at it that way. Or you could say dual laser is basic laser two. They should totally call it that. Basic laser two. Okay, no store down here, but ship fights and... I'm just trying to think if I want to go to the Pulsar lot. I don't want to go, but if I should go to the Pulsar. Hack and cloaking my control. Probably doable. Okay, he's going to board me. Got a big giant missile and a basic laser. 
We can cloak the first missile. There's probably a crew kill here. If I let him board and then let him run away while I shoot his weapons down, maybe. No other offense, okay. So we purposely don't kill this guy. Let's see if I can do this without hacking. About to kill this guy, actually. Whoops. Breach missile. Okay, so he'll board a second time. He dodged my entire volley. Let me let him board. So bad. Good. Now we need to kill this guy. Okay, I'm not dead yet. Got a mantis repairing weapons. That's good for us. There we go. Okay. Um, oh, let's see here. Probably gonna need my small bomb, honestly, for this crew kill. Mind control. Recharge time, though. And that is not pulling him. Okay. Well, then, uh, I need to shoot you. Finish you off, I think. I don't know if this ship has enough health. Well, I mean, I can always finish him off with small bombs, so let's do this until he's out of ship health. Then we'll small bomb him to finish him off. Well, I could always bio swipe potentially. How much health do you have, sir? 64. Uh, okay. So that's three more shots now if he does no more hole damage. Here we go. We're just going up for here. Trying to do this while conserving drone parts and missiles, so it's quite greedy, but this should work. One more volley. I think he's at like four health right now. There it is. Okay. Beautiful. Calculated. So calculated. All right, I need power. You know what? I feel like losing crew would be our biggest punish right now. I'm going to get a level 2 clone bay upgrade for value point in, you know, not losing crew. Thank you, Mohammed. Appreciate it. Double missile build. Okay, let's... Uh, sack of weapons. Okay, missiles online, that's fine. Double fire. Why does every ship I start a double fire on have a rock? Dude. It's actually good. I want the engine to go in and fight the fire. Um... Nice. Fires. Gosh, I'm gonna have to use a crap ton of missiles again, aren't I, if I want to kill this? 150 full health. Four missiles would be 120. Uh, is a crew kill worth four missiles? Wait, we know that if we just kill the ship now, we get max. We get high scrap board. Okay, we don't even crew kill it then. Because of the event. 47 scrap. That's better than a crew. Nice. O2 kill? Nah. Nah. Once we know what our reward is, I think that's just worth finishing him. We do want three nebula jumps. 
Oh, I also might want to check if there's a store up here. Oh gosh. I think I actually want I think I actually do need to go through the pulsar here. Let's get level three hack. For the pulsar. Does crew killing that slaver event just result in free crew? I think there's a couple different rewards. I think it can be scrap plus the demand the rock mantis or ng join your crew i think it could be crew plus scrap i think it could be just scrap i think there's multiple things it could be beautiful um now do we have a crew kill this guy He's running, so probably not. It's a level 3 clone bay. Okay, now there's a chance. If I can make them fight each other. Yeah, they're pretty much matched in health, so... There it is. <laughs> Free long range scanners that I already have, right? Yeah, nice. Getting all the crew kills, man. All of them. It's great. Uh, do I go here to see all those, or do I go here to see? Uh, yeah, I think I do, though, because if there's not a storm, I'm going to go like through the nebula. If there is a storm, I'm going to go up and then through the nebula as well. So, yeah, it's cool. First laser two halberd beam boarding. Okay. Three shields. Attack is shields. My NG anti boarding party go. Hey, there's a little bit of a bio swipe there. Okay. Mm. A little bit of a bio swipe. Uh, thing is, I think that's going to repair. Yeah, okay, well, if you fight now, there we go. Alright, I think if I'm patient. This might also be a crew kill. I'm not sure if that bio was a swipe. Yeah, and that guy's gonna get out. Uh... Damn, <laughs> my control level two would have actually gotten it there, I think. Come fight him, guy in the heal bay. Nope. With a heal bay, I don't know if that was going to happen. Maybe if I was patient enough, I don't know. Hey, Muhammad, thank you for the tier one sub. You Welcome to the randoms. Appreciate that. Really appreciate that. Um, Its effect cannot stack. Just show me the next two jumps, then FTL. <laughs> no. No, that's cheating, FTL says. All right, power. We are looking so strong right now. I, why did I say that? I'm asking FTL to kill me by saying that. Okay, so we want weapon upgrade. Uh, we do want sensors. Only two shields. Try to not hack this guy. I can mind control the pilot. I think there's a cloaking and weapons and shields hit on this ship. I don't think. Maybe there is. I, I think there is a pike beam. I don't know if there is a pole beam. There might be if I perfect, perfect, perfectly aim it. that. 
It's funny, just noted the ship's cloak outline shows the part of the tail that's broken off. Oh, really? Oh, I didn't notice that. Not our ship, you meant the ship we were fighting, right? Funny that sometimes y'all notice little details like that, and I just play the game so long I don't even notice. I don't even notice stuff like that. Who wanna get next? Sirs. Start working our power slowly up while making sure we have a bank of stuff to be able to afford a plaque or a halberd beam or other OP things. Kikanko! Ki 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 Kikango? Ki Thank you for the follow! <laughs> free stuff. I love free stuff. There's our store. One, two, uh, two, six. That would be a dive if I keep my path. I only get one, two, three, four if I go to the store. Yeah, store's worth missing one more jump, I think. You assume there's a non-damaged variant and they just reuse the cloak graphic. Okay, med bay and drones. Well, store not worth. All right. It's probably the only store we see this sector then, so that's okay. We're basically boss ready, especially if I get this last weapon power up. Only thing we really need or more like want is uh, weapon upgrades. All right, this guy is unlikely. Let's see, nine and ten and twenty-five. So second volley. Is this a weapon system that never lines up? Maybe it eventually does. Um, oh, okay. That volley almost lined up, actually. I know Britnoth did a pop quiz. When did the when do these weapons line up uh, on a certain weapon system the other day? This one looks like it will be a long time before it perfectly lines up. Chris Witch's name makes you want a potato chip sandwich. Good God, you're never going to be a skinny man. <laughs> well, you're probably in good company here. I keep eating pizza, even though I work out to work off the pizza that I keep eating, and it's probably a losing battle. All right, this is a potential dub reward here, I think. Uh, okay, he boards two dudes. I need to kill the two dudes. Oh, uh, that is the worst place. It's a bomb I don't care about. That's a level two, okay, actually, I guess. An engine repair party, though. I don't know if we ever can kill this. Good swipe. And he's running. It's busted at least. Okay, that pulled the pilot. I think I've done too much damage. Oh, he died as he jumped. Awesome. Uh, problem is. Yeah, he's gonna repair heal day. I would need the small bomb for the crew kill. Crew kill might have been worth there, actually. Okay, we did get double reward, and that was 60. 72 scrap, I think we just got. Nice. 72 seconds with 75 seconds. That's when that would have lined up. Nice, good enough. Nice. Uh, let's see. You've yet to coin the crisp witch. But you like to imagine it as one of those roast beef sandwiches with gravy, like you get a diner, except the chips on it. Oh, that sounds amazing. I would take the chips off, but roast beef with gravy. Uh, I do like, speaking of sandwiches, what's, I, Pie Boy asked two hours ago, I finally thought of a sandwich I really like that's not peanut butter or something. And I really like, um, like a French dip sandwich, you know, where it's like roast beef and Swiss, and you dip, dip it in like an au jus sauce. For the ship, or at the exit beacon, anyway. So there, that would be my choice. If I can choose that, can I choose that? Am I allowed to choose that? I think I'm allowed. To 
Oh, I cloaked. I already cloaked him myself. Damn. Should have shot at his weapons more. It's an assault. It's down. We have a really good repair party, I just realized. With our three NGs and... Well, with our three NGs. Mmm, roast beef. <laughs> Got you in for pizza. Anchovies, olives, and artichokes, please. <laughs> Air fried chicken breast and steamed broccoli. Mmm. Sounds very healthy, actually. I uh, just got back. We're still talking sandwiches. Well, it just came out of nowhere there. <laughs> Flame crisp witch. All right. Well, I'd rather go down for a chance at civilian, and I really don't want an abandoned sex. So, all right. Uh, Sector choices have actually been pretty good. And you know, somebody uh, somebody had a good question on YouTube the other day. How do I choose my sectors? That would be a good video to make. Um, maybe there is a video out there already from like Mike Copley or Crow or somebody, but when do you choose which sectors? That's a, that's That'd be a good, you know, FTL tutorial video. I could go to Asteroid Field and still see if that's a store. Unless that's a store, but then I can go one, two, three, and I can get that store. So if either of those are a store, I can get that. Three nebula jumps. Three nebula jumps gets us 14. Okay. Let's do... What do I want to do? I do want to upgrade something. I'm going to get my weapon. Will we do one more one run? Yes, even though we'll probably go late again. We will definitely do one. Especially go late if it's a boarding ship. Your favorite is Philly cheesesteak. Okay, Philly cheesesteak, I uh, would also go with that as well. That is a great sandwich. Um, you're a French, you're not a big French dip guy. You love a good Reuben, huh? Bandit six would be fine. Mind control counter and hacking for teleporter. Still don't want to take it. Sector choices, that is more of an FTL guy. That would be good. And you think choosing your sector is more than just a simple tier list too? Yeah, it would have to, it would matter when the sector is happening, because like pre four, abandoned is good. Post three, abandoned is bad, that kind of thing. But it does depend on ship crew. And that's one of the things I said in my response to that, was it's not like a real tier list. It'd be more like a situational thing, but that's something you could make a video talking about different ships. Okay, this guy sucks. He's an auto hacker with double effing missiles. What am I doing here? Am I just hacking his weapons? I think I'm just hacking his weapons. Where does the hack go, though? The cloaking. Okay. F you, FTL. Asteroid killed my thing. Okay, both missiles down. Get wrecked. Good fight. Good fight. Especially if I don't hit his weapons anymore and he never... Okay. Why did the missile come up after the hack? I'm confused. Oh, God. This missile somehow. This must be a Lido. All right. I think an asteroid hit his missile. Thank you, asteroids. Eat it. No weapons allowed for you. Going for scrap. Pirate for crew. Engine for stores. Avoid sold and abandoned, especially if you're aborting. Yeah, again, that's... Like a good general rule, but I feel like what I would probably split it into is ships that are start with decent anti-boarding. Like maybe it'd be like boarding ship start, gun ship start, and I don't know, maybe a third one. Because uh, it would be different depending on your ship start, I think. Flowchart needed. Love you a good flowchart. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I would be smart enough to create a flowchart for that. Alright, uh, I better hack. I don't want to. I think you figured out why the weapon came back after the hack ended. Oh. Uh, why? Civilians better for stores than NG as are slugs. Hmm. 
Slug is 2-3. to three. NG is also 2-3. to three. And you can have nebulas, but slugs are have guaranteed nebulas. Okay, no th no thanks, Pulsar. Yeah, I couldn't move power between weapons until after the hack, because the hack stops. You from moving weapons or powering them or depowering them. Yeah, that could be that could be it. Ashford Field into store. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have a way to get eleven. Eleven, ten, nine. Eight, seven. I do. Seven, six, five. I mean, and it means going to the store now. All of those are two to three stores. Civilian have Nebula, which makes it easier to predict where the stores are. I did two damage, and that was a three power missile, so we had one power floating, but I had to wait until the hack, the hack ended the attack. There's our sensors. Beautiful. System's done. Mainly, we just want that as a hack diversion for phase one of the boss fight. All right, our systems are done. Do I want to buy any drone parts from Sector 6? I'll buy one. A little bit of a luxury buy. I don't think I need to buy crew. Is Alton Shield Bypass for the bomb phase 3? Hmm, now that's a question. Is Zultan Shield Bypass worth when you don't have boarding, if you, but you do have bombs? You let your bomb get past earlier. Is that actually useful when the bomb would actually help you get through the Zoltan Shield? Doesn't seem worth. The bomb does help you get through the Zoltan Shield. If it was a breach bomb, I'd say sure. Well, even that, it's a four, four power weapon system on the missile. I don't think it's worth the scrap. I'd rather save it for another weapon upgrade potentially. Yeah, I kind of agree with you, Flip Mode. I kind of think it's not. Does Zoltan Shield Bypass work with Mind Control? It does. Yes, it does. What's your specialty? I'll take it. Hey, I think this is the second time they've offered to upgrade my sensors, and I, it's the only first time I've had them. <sighs> for Small Bomb. It works for Small Bomb. It works for Bombs. It works for Teleporter. It works for Mind Control. The Zoltan Shield Bypass, that is. I six seven eight nine. That's my planned path. Right now. Although I wouldn't say it's super useful useful for that because you're probably going to be using your mind control to counter the boss. You, you, the boss is using mind control anyway, but it does work. That guy's like, stop venting me. But you're a human. I need to vent you. But I don't need to vent my own crew. Human venting day. No, you meant his bypass worth if it's just for small bomb, and you were implying no. Oh, okay. You're answering my question by saying, is it worth just for the small bomb? I think is what. Actually, can I go one, two, three? I can, then I can go four, five, six, seven, eight. That can work. Humans and oxygen, natural enemies. <laughs> That's right. A free human, free max trained pilot human. All right. Um, you know what? A forced human, spooky wizard. A forced human. He wanted to be a human that I didn't have a choice to get. I had no choice in getting this guy, Spooky Wizard. So prepare for your venting and welcome aboard. Welcome aboard, prepare for venting. Um, hang on, close. Forced human run is blessed. <laughs> is, is that from another stream? <laughs> Who is blessing their runs with humans? That's the worst way to bless your run. Gotta be the worst way. 20 power, let's make it uneven for the half power nebula. I can think of so many better ways to bless our run. I haven't found a uh, man who searched the wreckage once today yet, I don't think. Who is blessing their run this way? And please stop it, whoever you are.
nice. Consumables we're doing consumables we're doing pretty well on. Is there ever a crew kill here? I think I've done too much damage. One drone part, three missiles. Nah, 19 scraps. Not nearly a good enough deal. Not nearly. Could use a bunch of missiles for a crew kill, potentially. Let's see what happens. If we go to piloting, that's gonna kinda do it. I'm gonna go to heal bay. Mm, without using a bunch of bombs, with a heal bay. Dead. Preparing his O2. Can I pull him with mind control here? Huh. That's interesting. I didn't know he'd go do that. I didn't know he'd go to repair that instead of fight the shield guy when they're low on O2. Well, I've committed to it. I should have let him in there before I did that. This should work, though, I think. There it is. Okay. You vent a human and it hits the hole, like christening the ship. <laughs> you just hear a thunk outside the ship from the <laughs> human's body. Human's frozen body bumping against the outside. All right, I used a lot of missiles there. So, not sure if we'll work using all these missiles right. Rand 117 blesses his runs with humans, huh? Prepare thy anus for explosive decompression, human. <laughs> oh, God. Well, let's try to not use something here. Missiles. Oh crap, I didn't. I meant to whole beam, not bomb. Ugh. Not so much for saving my missiles. Ouch. Oh damn, that's bad. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Brick and flax, man. Why can't I get one of those today? I guess we did get one on our earlier run. But I want another one! Oh, I don't have anybody on sensors right now. Uh, Sure, put it on sensors. I forgot that I got those. So 118 is the amount of humans already vented. I don't know, it's gotta be way higher than that, honestly. It's gotta be way higher than that. Where's thing is, if this is a store, because then I have to go one, two, three, four, and not get all my jumps. Although, is it really bad if we get a store and don't get all of our jumps? Yeah. Not the end of the world. 118,000. Okay, there we go. It goes up. You add zeros, not the other number. Not you, you add zeros to the end of it. Add decimal places. Okay, there's our store. All right. Well, it's what I said was the worst case, but it's fine. If we got a pre-igniter. It's worth. We got a flak, it's worth. I could get that breach too, I dropped off. Uh charge two, breach two. Is it worth trading out a small bomb for a breach two? Yeah, you know what it might be. I don't I have a feeling I'm gonna end up getting rid of it anyway, but Let's do it. I can't actually get it online right now. But I'm trying to conserve missiles, so... We have one other sector. Let's buy, like, one. One. One singular fuel. Are we made of viewership built from the frozen corpses of vented humans yet? Not yet. We have had flax that shoot out humans. But I don't think we've had a ship made of vented humans. <laughs> Somebody can get on that. All right, who do we say is getting minted? Oh, yeah. 
Welcome aboard, spooky wizard. Hope you had a good time. Now, enjoy space. As, as we fly off, we hear thunk. Thunk on the side of the ship. <laughs> you want to be the level 2 sensors, NG? Sure. Uh, you know what? I kind of need my missiles. I'm going to not do that one for once. So that is this guy. Man, it's been a while since we've had Rudy Van Winkler on the ship. Uh, okay, you're Rudy Van Winkle, because R won't fit if I put spaces. <laughs> Uncharted Nebula or NG? I have long-range scanners. Um, That's an interesting Sector 7 choice, actually. Space gods are pleased with all the venting, huh? Low fuel... Long range scanners. I think I'm gonna go NG here. Okay, no immediate store. Let's get our weapon upgrade first. Might actually need this one extra bomb shot here. NG, NG. Alright. Souls. Um, I'm gonna hack your. I'm gonna hack your piloting and breach bomb your shield. It's gonna be delayed if I do that. Of course, our earlier run, we were hacking weapons every round. Run it was working well. You know what? Let's go. Do the level two hack strategy we were using before. I'm not sure why I stopped. Actually, yes, I'm sure why we stopped. The ship was very OP. And I've been reading, I guess. Reading the hack shields over and over. That is not a bad deal. It's not good enough. First, it would poke your shot. Dare to let you in. Make you guys fight each other. Everybody come fight in here while I shoot you and kill this ship. Oh my gosh, the dodges. He dodged more with nobody on piloting. Of course he did. Of course he did. With nobody on piloting, he dodged more shots. Just FTL things. Autopilot's better than human pilot. May you be the long range scanners. Of course, Julian Burst. Of course. How badly do I even want to score? I mean, I would like a flak over a chain laser, I guess. Empty jumps. Okay, let's take the ship fights when we see them. It's gonna look like a big empty sector, I think. Level two cork. Three things you learned this week. All right, lay it on us. What'd you learn? Okay. Five health left on that NG. Have to kill him. We can cloak the missile. Finish you off with lasers. Dot 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 profit. And man, it takes forever for a hacked breach missile to fire. <laughs> Um, you don't want to be the chain laser, Julian Verse. Oh my gosh. One, your tolerance for spicy instant ramen has greatly increased recently. Two, expanding spray foam is canned straight from Satan's nostrils. I don't even know what expanding spray foam is, but okay. I'm wondering what's the fundamental difference between an autopilot and an NG pilot. Hmm. The NG can lead the ship, the autopilot can't? That'd be my guess. I have five missiles left. 
ignore to tarp. It's been a very empty NG sector so far, unsurprisingly. Bending spray foam is foam that expands when you spray it. Oh, thanks for clearing that up. <laughs> I should have realized. Yeah. It's that meme. It's that meme where the guy's pointing at his head. Why did I why did I even why did I even ask? Friends. Every single ship we've fought in the last couple sectors, I think, has had double missiles. Maybe not everyone, but a lot of them. I didn't kill that guy, huh? That guy. Right, I'm trying to not use my missiles and I'm failing horribly. These fights, man. I'm trying to get all these crew kills. I think I need to stop trying to crew kill just to save my missiles. I'm not gonna have 100% dodge on this next assault. Now I will. Tried to do a bio swipe there. Didn't really work. Right, maybe this will work. Mm. This actually will finish him. Got him. Okay. Uh, free burst laser mark one. Okay. Four missiles left. Is Zoltan C already beaten in the streak? Uh, no, it's not. It is not. It's the only Zoltan we haven't beaten, actually, in this streak, which means potentially the streak killer on this streak. All right. Um, 195 scrap. Let's get engine value. Or fifth engine plus power, I mean. So that, that and Stealth B and Slug B are probably three of the scariest ships. I don't need fuel. We have enough already, right? Yes. One, two, three, four, five. We'll be. Zone C, easy ship in game. Get good noob. Okay. So helpful. 35 for piling. Does save a scrap, but I'm going to decline because we have a store. Don't change, change to burst laser one. I'm honestly thinking about reach, actually. I only have four missiles left. What if I used breach phase one of the boss and swap to burst laser after that to help get crew kills? That might be what I do. Can I choose it for the start of the streak? On, one of, on the streak after I lost, yes, but I'm not... I'm not starting with the same ship every time. Some people do that for like Stealth B, I think, or something, but I don't know. Feels a little too cheesy. I'll start a sh I, I, To me, it was like the um, kind of a compromise. I'll start my next streak with the one that killed me if I feel like it will help me with practice. Otherwise, I'm not going to start with a particular ship. Right, we have just enough fuel to get out. I guess there's a small chance that's another store, maybe? <laughs> Give away missiles that I don't have. If only I could. Actually been using a lot of missiles this run. Speaking of missiles, Jesus, every ship. Uh-oh, what are you hacking? My engines. Hacked my engines in with an engine hack. Yo, dog, I heard you like hacking engines. Okay. Jeez, man. Uh, okay, didn't hit my weapons. That's good. Holy weapons. I mean, holy hacking, Batman.
Yo dog, I heard you like hacking engines, so I hacked your engines while your engines were hacked, so you could hack your engines while your engines were hacked. Yo dog. Thanks for the fuel at the end of the run. Uh, if I want to just play stealth a 28 times in a row and say I had a 28 win streak, you won't tell anyone that we didn't play the other shits. <laughs> All right, I'll make sure to not upload it to YouTube and then just tell people. Do I want to double dive for a store? No, I don't want to double dive for a store. We're already along on this run. We have enough to win. Attack before I can attack. It's a peaceful engine. Wait. Um, that is a really good weapon system. I better cloak it. Um, and I will hack. Is there a missileless mod? <laughs> uh, I don't know if anybody's ever gone through the game and just. Um, actually. We might have played a ship like that. Wow, he almost got away because of too many dodges while being forced to stay in that room. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, God. That was weird. Why did the engine go all the way around to go through the top? Because he's a genius and knew that it would let him run away? That guy actually ran there. Almost ran there. There was a mod that made all missiles deal zero damage. Yeah, I feel like Math Champ made something like that. Is that a Math Champ thing? And there was one RPG ships that had your that had made enemy missiles deal one less damage while our own dealt one more damage. We've had some, you know, cheating missiles to be weaker mods before. Wow, these repair stations are all pretty far away. I'm probably gonna go for this one. Get all our value points, a level three cloaking, and then we might have another run where we get all of this and still get fourth shield, which would be awesome. Anyone who get a 28 win streak with a stealth A has clearly deleted offensive drones from their copy of the game. Uh, maybe. That might be a challenge. Maybe I'll try to do single ship streaks after this to see if the ships that I think are super OP are actually as super OP as I think they are. Might be a fun challenge. Something different. Hard mode, hard mode, no pause, single ship streak challenge. This flows off the tongue, doesn't it? Okay, looks like we're still good to get one of these repairs, and hopefully it's not the left one that gets taken over. Is there any chance we get a store? There is. I'm going to hold off on getting that force field yet. A never-ending fed sea streak sounds like eternal torture. <laughs> thankfully, thankfully, we'll never win more than one in a row on that one. So, Well, it's forced to dive if I go to the repairs. All right, well, I guess I'll probably get fourth shield before the force dive then. Back when FTL was brand new, you remember your stepfather used to make his own challenge with a mod that lets you play enemy ships. Most of them didn't work, but those that did were tough for their lack of systems even before AE. Yeah. Winning one Fedsy run in a row is hard enough. No more, please. Agreed. Agreed. One thing I will say that it's a weakness of this ship we currently are playing. My anti-boarding my anti party is a bunch of NGs. Strength or weakness, you decide. Wow, that was some insane dodges. Okay. Mm 
Okay, what are we jumping into? A ship fight. So let's let our stuff recharge a bit here. Oh, I did not mean to leave that door open. Not hack again like I was supposed to. Well, I'm going into a ship fight with extra borders now, unless I take this missile. missile. Damn. Weapons, venting my NG. All right, everything's fine. We recovered from the dive. I think we recovered from the dive. That's a lot of drone power you have, sir. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Probably seven or eight drone power there. What's the biggest problem for Fed C? Refresh your memory. Ah, uh, its offense is terrible. Its defense is terrible. You're forced into bad systems. It's teleporter artillery. You're boarding with, at best, a. Mantis and, and, and a human. Uh, you have a slow, crappy flak artillery. You have no weapons. Many, many things. Nothing to sell. That's another big one. It's hard to gain. Uh, it's hard to recover from these ships starting from being extremely far behind. Okay. Uh, all right. So we don't get an extra repair. Let's see how we want to do this boss fight. We want to crew kill, so we want breach bomb for this phase. We want to hack. What am I hacking? Am I hacking missiles, breach bombing missiles? Uh, strictly, it has one thing to sell, but emergency respirators don't sell very much and are actually pretty useful for boarding auto scouts. How do we want to do the crew kill here? Um, cause I like I like hacking shields because it locks them all in. Maybe I hack shields, breach bomb their missiles. Yeah, I think I want to hack shields. Actually, I could hack shields, sh shoot their missiles, and that would be pretty safe too. Um, the thing is, their side rooms never go offline, so their triple ion could hit. I bought a breach bomb at a store, yeah. We bought it to replace this small bomb that we had. And then we got a free other burst laser Mark I from swapping be between a hull beam and breach missile, depending on if I want a crew kill or not. Okay, well, what we're doing is we're running away. This is the absolute worst hack. Although, if I hack the... Maybe it's fine if I hack their missiles. Oh, this is just the worst. God. Ah, no, we're not we're not doing a weapon hack. Let's just go. We have a safe place to jump. All right. And that is why you get to the base before the final last second, because if you get a bad hack, you can jump away and try again. Uh, you should be somewhere else, sir. Alright. I still think I want to shield hack and hit their missiles and shields. I feel like if you could hypothetically get back clock artillery and a gunship, it might be okay, or at least maybe a bit better than beam artillery. It just has zero synergy with boarding, yeah. All artilleries are bad with boarding, because if you can't control what you're shooting, you're actively making your boarding worse. So... Fedsy is actively making its build worse because of the systems it has. That is actually pretty annoying too, but I think we're gonna take it. Beautiful. Missiles are breached. 
And that was what I worried about. The triple hit on Ion with 45% dodge means we probably take damage from the beam now. Okay, we dodged that volley. Okay, one crew kill. Good. Slow playing this a bit for extra crew kills. Okay. Nice, two more crew kills. Only got three health left, so for more crew kills, basically got to be mind control plus breach bomb to make it happen. Everybody get in there. Alright, I don't know if that last one... I, I meant to fire one sh volley of two lasers and I fought, I fired an extra volley of lasers. That's okay. We got a lot of crew kills. That should be more than enough. Fire beam artillery might actually be worth. If it... Well, that actually... You know what? If that bypass shields, that would actually be probably really OP, honestly. We like seeing artillery that acts like a solar flare on, every, on the other ship, setting random fires throughout the shields. Through shields every 15 seconds. Interesting. Alright, so what are we doing for our last upgrade? Probably, you know what, it is one more power I want so I can have doors open and deal with the boarding drone. Okay. Um, P of the moon. Just spam the emotes, okay. Cool. I don't, I don't care about spam, emote spam. As long as it's not out of hand, I don't I don't find that. Uh, OP is another spelling of fun. <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. That was a decent amount of crew left alone. That quadruple or triple fire and shield room is great. Oh, and then they left. I wanted you to be in there for the quadruple fire, though. He's side room bug. We don't want side room bug kill. Beautiful. All right, that should be one crew left. That should be one crew left. That's a great phase, too. Zero damage and finished off the last three crew we needed to. Alright, please do not argue about emotes. If you're going to do that, go into whispers. We do not need any of that. Game is easy. Yeah, our, our build's pretty OP. Uh, 22 scrap. We had, we've had a good phase one and two, so... Uh, we have to deal with my control counter. 22 scrap gets us nothing. Okay. Uh, you know what I didn't practice was the good whole beam swipes. Yeah. Level 3 cloaking while we let... Whole beam do its thing. I think this lasts long enough. Well, it would if that didn't take. Okay, well that's fine. That's fine. It wears off right as the shot goes off. Good dodges, thankfully. 
take this next missile volley, it's fine. No perfect boss fight, not even that OP, honestly. I should be practicing my whole beam swipes. Why am I not practicing it? Because I don't need to, and I'm lazy. DG Cookie Time, Slug Z, one of the most OP ships in the game. Such a good run. I don't think we were in danger. We got in the yellow a little bit in like sector three or four. Best whole beam swipe, phase three, from empty room left of shields. Dagna down through teleporter. Med bay and two empty rooms, okay. If you could switch one system per ship, which ones would that be for the bottom five ships? I don't know. I don't know what they are. They'd probably be taking off artillery on all of the Fed's ships and removing drone control from most ships. All right. Isn't Chain Laser such a good weapon? I'm sure that's what kept us in it. Let's check that score. 58-59. Toe the Chain Laser, not all the systems around it. Honestly, I feel like our scrap should have been higher that run. Wow, look at that terrible Sector 6 Rebel Sector. But look at that crazy good Sector 5 Rebel Sector. Crazy. My friends, that is 12 in a row. We are almost to our second best ever. 12 in a row, and that is Slug C down. Good run, man. Yeah, that Pirate Sector 5 was crazy. I think that was the one... We went through a bunch of nebulas. I think we had a lot of nebula runs that uh, jumps that run. Uh, flip mode, I'm not putting you in pilot in the next run because Inan has called that. So, All right, my friends. Thank you for the 666 bits, <laughs> Nietzsche and Flurchin. The demonic bits. Uh, hype train is close. Uh, see if Cherik get a hype train while I have K stand up, stretch, use restroom. Take our last break. We will do one more run. Thank you all for all the support. Always a blast hanging out with you awesome people. See you in just a bit, my friends. If you like it, then you better put some bits in it. If you like it, then you better put some bits in it. Whoa, whoa, whoa.